Today we're going to uh, carve out this pumpkin to make it into a lantern for Halloween. Um, how we'll celebrate it this year with what's going on, I don't know, but it'll be good to put outside your house. So before we start, you need to choose your pumpkin and to make sure it has a nice flat bottom and that will stop it moving about and a nice sturdy stem because that shows you that it's a um, healthy pumpkin. And these are some of the tools that I'm going to be using today. Um, these little knives and things I got from a well-known shop where everything's a pound, so they weren't um, expensive at all. And on my practice, they worked out quite good. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make and take the lid off and I'm going to use a knife and cut round the lid at a round about a 45 degree angle and I like to do my lids where they're um, um, zigzagged. It's quite hard, you might need to get a, an adult to help you with this because this is a nice strong sturdy pumpkin. So I'm just gently making cuts all the way around the pumpkin it'll take some time there we go you can see here what's happening the nice zigzag cuts so continue all the way round until you meet where you started. Yep, so I've cut it all the way through nicely and I've just leveled it off and you can see where we've got all the stringy bits and the seeds which I'm going to scrape into this bowl and I will save the seeds and roast them later and you can put them in salads or just nibble them as they are so we get rid of all this Always move the knife away from you rather than this way because it's a safety factor because we don't want any cutting yourselves. There we go, and that's our lid for later. There we go. Now the next thing is to get out all from inside all the rest of the stringy bits and the um, seeds. I'm going to use this big spoon because I found it easier to get into inside. Get all these bits out. Scraping it away from the pumpkin. got some of it I'll continue in a minute you see all these lovely seeds that are coming out that we can use we've got nearly all of it out um, this little tool also came with the knife from the well-known shop that's everything's a pound and I'm giving it a good scoop out because there's still stringy bits in and the idea is you need to have it as smooth as you can especially the part that's going to be the back because when you put the lights in and you look through the design that you're going to do it will um, show up any blemishes and things so we want it as a smooth as we can. There we go, it's coming nice and there now. 
right, you now need to decide on your design of your pumpkin um, and what you're going to cut away. So whatever you've seen, you can do. I'm just going to do a basic one where I'm using a, a marker pen, um, which is one that can be wiped off. And I'm going to draw some triangles to make the eyes. You can make it funny, you can make it scary, you can make it happy, you can make it sad. I've seen it done where somebody's put a spider and um, cut out a spider. It's totally up to you. Okay, and that's my design that I'm going to cut out. Now what I did was I used a knife to start with and just made some gentle cuts down the markings where I've done. Again, just do it straight down. Be careful holding the top to stabilise the pumpkin or if you're not sure, get an adult to help you. I'm just checking you can see I've gone right through and you can see the knife okay now I'm going to use a little serrated edge knife to cut down and round and then push it from the back and that's one eye done. Right, now we've done the nose and the eyes. It's time to do the mouth. This is where it's a little bit more tricky because we're going to deal with smaller bits. But again, using your knife, go through along your lines. Again, working away from you. Can you see where the tooth is there? And along. Don't worry if you do it and it um, cuts off because um, it won't matter whether he's got one, two, three, four teeth. Okay, okay. so we've got the majority of the um, mouth out. I'm going to tidy up in the corners and get rid of all these bits now that you can see just by cutting through get the cloth and have a wipe and then you can see and get rid of any of the pen that's left right now that's my finished Pumpkin. Um, I don't think he looks too bad. Now the next thing we need to do is to light it up. Now rather than use real candles, I have got two little battery operated lights that I got from a well-known supermarket in the Halloween section. And I've just got to switch the switch on and you can see it's glowing as though it's a Candle and sit that one in. I bought two for this. Um, you probably could have done with more in there. Depends on the size of your pumpkin. And then replace your lid. Another way you could do your pumpkin is, before you start, is just to slice the bottom off the pumpkin so when you put your lights down, you will just lift your pumpkin over and do it that way. But with having the battery operated lights, it's um, a lot more safe for you to do so. So I hope you enjoy your pumpkin carving and we look forward to seeing them all outside your houses on the 31st. So thank you very much.
Enjoy.